Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video announcements. It's good to be back with you this week. I was away last week um, and I'm looking forward to being with you this Sunday as well for service. Uh, we will be um, having our second service on the theme of authenticity um, and this one will be um, uh, reflections on National Coming Out Day. So it's uh, Friday is National Coming Out Day, so it'll be just a couple days after that. Um, and we'll have reflections from some members of our congregation. Um, I think it'll be a really lovely service, so I hope that you will join us. During the service, there will be uh, workshops for um, kiddos, workshops for our elementary kiddos, and our Authentic Connection Teens group for our older uh, teens and tweens. Um, so hope you will join us for all of that on Sunday. Some of us have a long weekend this weekend for Indigenous Peoples Day, which is on Monday, and it has become our tradition that Sadie uh, leads a walk in Mind Falls Park on Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, so everyone, uh, people of all ages, are invited to join us for that. Um, we're going to meet at 10 a.m. in the Coliseum Avenue parking lot, uh, and... Uh, we'd love to see you there. Again, people of all ages are welcome. Um, and it, uh, we'll, we'll take a walk through Mind Falls Park. Um, hopefully the weather will be good for that. On the following weekend, there's a couple things happening. Um, the New Hampshire Council of Churches on October 19th is holding an, a gathering for people from across the state. They're calling it the Granite State Jubilee, and it is um, a, a time for um, for uh, talking about the priorities of the Council of Churches. There will also be a um, a keynote speaker, Liz Theo Harris, uh, Reverend Liz Theo Harris, who uh, is one of the um, leaders in the Poor People's Campaign. Uh, I'm sure she'll be very inspiring. Um, and uh, you are welcome to attend. We are um, planning to pay the uh, kind of congregational price, which means anyone from the congregation can attend without paying um, anything in addition. Uh, so you're welcome to attend. I'll put a link in the comments that has all the details about that. On October 20th, so that's uh, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, uh, in the afternoon, we're having our second round of Get Out the Vost canvassing with GSOP and some of our interfaith um, friends here in Nashua. We'll be meeting at 1 p.m. in the Campbell Chapel here at our church, um, and we'll be canvassing in the, the neighborhoods that kind of immediately surround um, the three communities that are participating, uh, Temple Beth Abraham, Main Street Methodist Church, and UU Nashua. Um, and uh, I went last time, and it was a really positive experience. I talked to more people than I ever have canvassing um, and got a lot of people who are um, are interested in voting and uh, helped some people think about how to register and how to get to the polls. Um, so I hope you'll join us to uh, talk to our neighbors on October 20th at 1 p.m. Um, you don't have to RSVP, but I'd love to know if you're planning to come. I will put a link in the comments where you can RSVP if you are planning to join us. On the following weekend, so now we're, we're a couple weekends out on October 20. Um, sixth, UU Action New Hampshire, which is our um, statewide UU organizing group, is having uh, their annual meeting day. Uh, it's a time of convening uh, to talk about priorities. Um, they have a keynote speaker. It's going to be up at the Concord UU Church. Um, I'll put a link in the comments with more details, um, and uh, I think it'll be an interesting day and a good chance to hear um, where UU Action New Hampshire is at and what, what, um, what's next for that organization. Um, I'm hoping to go and would love to have folks join me. That same day on October 26th, we are doing our next round of circle dinners. Uh, so uh, this is when we have dinners of about six to eight people in people's homes. Uh, and we organize uh, you into groups. So you just have to sign up and tell us what you're willing to bring. Um, and we'll organize you into groups. Um, and... Uh, 
at, and we will at the same time have a kids movie night happening at the church, which is a fun way for kiddos to hang out with their church friends um, and also allows parents to attend those circle dinners. Um, so uh, that is a great opportunity to have some time with other grown-ups in the congregation uh, while kiddos are uh, hanging out at church. Um, so if you would like to attend a circle dinner or host a circle dinner and have your kid and or have your kids at kids movie night, um, you do need to sign up by October 20th. Um, after that, I will kind of sort everyone into groups. Um, so sign up by October 20th. That gives me time to sort people out and to um, let you all know where you're going and what you need to bring. Um, I'll put a link in the comments to where you can sign up for Circle Dinners and Kids Movie Night. Um, and uh, just remember, you have to sign up by October 20th. Um, we are starting to collect uh, donations for our auction. Um, our auction is coming up the first week of November. It'll be online the whole week, and then we'll have a live auction event on November 9th in the evening, which should be a lot of fun. Last year was so much fun, and um, I hope this year will be the same. We will be gathering at Pilgrim uh, Congregational Church, UCC, which is kind of just up the road, up Anhurst Street. Um, there's lots of parking, which I know we all love. Uh, and um, we'll be there uh, for the live auction on November 9th. But right now, what we're looking for is your donations. So if there's a service that you want to provide um, in some way, or if you want to host an event that people come to, um, those are often our most popular. I, I know last year, um, some of the popular things were a handmade wooden advent calendar. Um, Carol uh, Hood donated uh, some um, homemade chocolate fudge sauce that was very, very um, fiercely bitted on. Um, I won some uh, ukulele lessons last year, uh, and there were some cool gatherings. Um, Sadie did a card, a particular card game night, um, and uh, I think there was a barbecue. Um, so all kinds of different ideas for what you could do. Um, and I'll put a link in the comments to the form where you can fill out uh, for your donation. Um, we are also looking for donations of gift cards. Um, we raffle those off and they often make more money than they are worth, which is amazing um, in those raffles. So uh, we would love your donations. I will um, put a link in the comments uh, with the form that you can fill out with your donations. Uh, coming up the first weekend of November is the Crop Walk, but now it's time to sign up. The Crop Walk is when we gather with our interfaith neighbors to walk for hunger um, and to raise money to combat hunger both locally and around the world. We'd love to have you join our team um, and or donate. I'll put a link in the comments with more info about that. Uh, and finally, the last thing I want to tell you about is um, we are hosting an Election Day Kids Camp here at the church. This is for um, kiddos, we're thinking mostly for kiddos who uh, would usually be in school that day um, and aren't because there's no school on Election Day for most kids. Um, Sadie and I are going to be running it along with some volunteers. Um, Aaron's going to be there for part of the day. Uh, and our hope is to provide a safe and fun place for kids to be on Election Day um, and to do some workshops around our values and around um, elections and democracy. Um, so it's going to run from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, if you need more time on either side, um, and you would sign up if there was more time on either side, let us know and we'll see if we can figure something out. Um, and uh, we'd love to have your kids. Uh, so I'll put a link in the comments if you wanna sign up your kids for Election Day Kids Camp. Um, and we also, are, if you wanna volunteer, you can let Sadie know, she'd love to hear from you. Um, I think it's gonna be a really fun day and I am looking forward to have something um, that will distract me that day from the election and all that's going on um, and and be something that I can do. So if you are also looking for something to do that day, um, this is a great place for you to be. 
Uh, so that was a lot. Uh, we've got a lot of things coming up. Thank you for listening all the way to the end. Um, it's always good to be with you on these video announcements. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.